What's up guys, Trill here, better known as Budget Bill, and this is your second stimulus check update and stimulus package update for Monday, October the 12th. Hope you guys and gals had a great and safe weekend. Today, I want to have a stimulus news weekend update to catch you guys up on what has happened over the weekend. So be sure to watch this video until the end. Today, we wanna go ahead and talk about how the White House has increased their offer from 1.6 trillion to now $1.8 trillion. As well as, we also wanna talk about how President Trump is ready to offer even more than $2.2 trillion. And then, I want to give you the latest update on the president's medical conditions and we also want to talk about or cover how we can still have time to receive the stimulus checks before the November election. Those are just some of the topics we are going to cover today but before we get started be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on the latest second stimulus check updates. Also click the notification bell so you won't miss any of them. Also be sure to hit the like button if if you think that Congress should get off their ass, pass this bill and send you your stimulus checks. Last week, stimulus negotiations were thrown in chaos as President Trump called an end to the stimulus negotiations between House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin. This was done after weeks and weeks and weeks of failed negotiations between the House Democrats and the White House negotiators. Trump stated that Nancy Pelosi is ungrateful and not working in good faith as the House Democrats kept rejecting their generous offer by the White House. Shortly after Trump called off further negotiations, he then switched and opened back up with an offer to the Democrats to just sign a bill now that would include $1,200 stimulus checks and funding aid for the airline industry. That offer was shot down as well by Pelosi in which she stated that they are not open to signing a smaller deal at this time. She wants a deal to be comprehensive of all the areas that need support and funding right now. Then on Friday, Steven Mnuchin increased the offer from $1.6 trillion to $1.8 trillion in an effort to get the Democrats to budge a little bit more. Unfortunately, Pelosi and the Democrats are not willing to budget any more than what they have already have. This has obviously been the main holdup with getting a second stimulus package passed by both sides. The White House feels that the Democrats are asking for just too much money in which most of it is not even related to the pandemic pandemic and the Democrats feel like the White House only wants to get money to the big businesses. So until they can agree on something, they are still scheduled to meet this week for more discussions around a package deal. Then on Saturday, President Trump was on the Rush Limbaugh show and he sort of undercut his administration negotiations by telling Rush that he would like to see a bigger stimulus package than the Democrats and the Republicans are offering. Trump says that he is ready to go big. This is obviously a tricky matter as these negotiations are unable to agree on a price target and relief provisions that both feel comfortable with. So far, the House has already voted in favor of the $2.2 trillion plan that's currently on the table and as of Friday, Mnuchin was ready to return with a new proposal. However, Mnuchin was unable to present a new proposal that includes a strategic plan to crush the virus, which is what the House Democrats are looking for. Director of Economic Council Larry Kudlow told reporters on Friday that Donald Trump had approved a revised stimulus package, but he declined to provide any details in regards to it. And then on Saturday, Kudlow was asked by Jake Taper on CNN whether Trump would offer a package more than the Democrats of $2.2 trillion. And Kudlow stated, yes. Trump very well could offer more stimulus than the $2.2 trillion stimulus price tag that is on the table right now by the House Democrats. Kulo stated that Trump has stated this several times and how he wants to offer more stimulus than the Democrats want and that Trump understands that we need a stimulus to cover the unemployment assistance, the $1,200 stimulus checks, the small business assistance program, and helping the airline industry out. He said Trump knows that we need more power for economic recovery to go through the end of the year and beyond. 
So, Kulo believes in Treasury Secretary and that he is a great negotiator and that he is the best person to carry out President Trump's message. So, Kulo thinks that Mnuchin is the right person for the job in negotiating this second stimulus package for the Trump administration. Then we had White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows and Steven Mnuchin said on Sunday that they would continue to work with Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi to strike a deal. But in the meantime, Congress should pass legislation allowing unspent PPP money to be repurposed for relief aid. According to the Small Business Administration, they have over $134 billion in unspent funds that remains in the Paycheck Protection program. Now moving on to the Trump health conditions. In regards to the latest on the President Trump, the White House doctor Sean Conley gave an update on Saturday night in which he stated that the President no longer poses an infection risk to others and can safely end his isolation period. There was a lot of criticism around this news because earlier Saturday afternoon, the president hosted his first public appearance since his three-day hospital stay at the White House. But obviously, this did not stop hundreds of people from showing up to see him speak. And now, President Trump says that he is ready for the campaign trail against Joe Biden. This comes after Trump was cleared by doctors, but did not say whether Trump had tested negative or not. The president insists that he is now immune from the virus, which is a claim that is impossible to prove at this time. Most diseases never offer immunity for life as antibodies remain in our bodies for a period of time. I'm just glad everything turned out well for our president as well as we can try to move past this 2020 pandemic. Now, as time is counting down and we are on our second full week in October, which leaves us with three full weeks before the November election to get a package deal signed by the president in order for Americans to receive a second $1,200 stimulus check. Hopefully, Nancy Pelosi and Steven Mnuchin can come to an agreement this week as the bid and the ask are getting narrower with only $400 billion difference. Let's keep our fingers crossed this week that something can happen quickly and both sides can agree on a relief package. And with all of that being said, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoy or find value in these videos, please do me a favor. Be sure to hit the like button because it helps the channel out and it tells YouTube to share this video with others. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can be a part of it. It's totally free. Other than that, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.